Tonight in the battle against Alzheimer's disease, a panel of independent FDA advisors voting to endorse a new drug that would slow down the effects of the disease. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules spoke with the Alzheimer's Foundation of America and is live with more. Alicia. And donanumab would be the second drug on the U.S. market that slows down the cognitive effects of Alzheimer's disease. Eli Lilly's donanumab drug for Alzheimer's disease has won unanimous approval from independent scientists advising the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, bringing the treatment closer to use. According to the National Institute of Aging, Alzheimer's disease is a progressive brain disorder that damages memory and thinking skills and can eventually make it difficult to perform simple tasks. Nearly 7 million people throughout the country live with the disease. Charles Fushilo, the president and CEO of the Alzheimer's Foundation of America, says that this will ultimately be a win for those who are currently battling Alzheimer's disease and those who will battle it in the future. It gives individuals that are living with Alzheimer's disease early onset in the early stages, it gives them hope that it can slow down the progression. Alzheimer's disease can progress at different rates, but typically develops slowly and worsens over the years. Margie Strickler, a former mountaintop resident, says that Alzheimer's hits close to home as it took the life of her best friend at the age of 74. I just saw her de decline very slowly, physically, shuffling her feet and that sort of thing. It's just such a, a painful experience for the loved ones to go through. Strickler says that while this drug could be helpful, she hopes that ultimately a cure is eventually found rather than drugs that just slow down the effects. The ultimate goal is the finish line to find a cure, and uh, we are optimistic that uh, one day there will be a cure, but in the absence of that, new therapies are extremely important. Now, the drug still needs to get approval from the FDA board before it's officially used in clinics. Reporting live, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10.